Hello, my name is Luke, physical therapist at Maximum Performance at the East Side location. Today I'm going to be speaking with you about concussion. So to begin, what is a concussion? Well, it's really defined as a traumatic brain injury that's caused by biomechanical forces that causes changes within the brain itself. So a concussion is truly a brain injury and should be taken very seriously because of that. And it can come from a contact or non-contact type injury. So it's a misconception that it's in a sporting related injury with a head to head contact. It could happen with something like a car accident or work related injury. And it's therefore very important that if a concussion is suspected, it's good to err on the side of caution and to remove the person from the playing field or from their work environment and uh, get this person in for further evaluation. So concussion symptoms may fall under a wide spectrum of symptoms that a person may experience. And these can include some of the following, which would be imbalance, confusion, difficulty concentrating, uh, memory loss, vertigo, vision problems, dizziness, fatigue, and symptoms or pain even in the neck. And most of the time, roughly 80% of the time, people's symptoms will resolve within uh, several days. However, if you or your child, your athlete, is still experiencing symptoms seven to, t seven to 10 days or more after the initial event took place, this has now come into a phase that we call post-concussive syndrome. And this needs to be addressed by appropriate medical professionals. And so this is where we come into play. So we as physical therapists are able to treat a wide variety of post-concussive symptoms like the ones I just mentioned with a variety of things like balance training, vestibular rehabilitation, cardiovascular training, and many others which um, will also involve uh, separate cognitive tasks at the same time. In a situation where we're going to have an athlete return to play after a concussion, we are almost always going to have a larger team collaboration to where we will likely have ourselves as a therapist, an athletic trainer, um, the, a team doctor, potentially the person's uh, primary care doctor and other medical professionals on board to help get this person back to playing. And if needed, we can also help you get on board with other medical professionals as needed, um, such as a neuropsychologist if you have uh, symptoms that continue to have an impact on your daily activities. So I urge you, if you are questioning whether someone you know has suffered a concussion, to have it checked out by appropriate medical professionals and seek physical therapy treatment if you continue to have ongoing symptoms.